Welcome back to Z Code System. If this is your first time joining us, thanks for stopping by. And if this is your second or third time coming by the YouTube page, thanks for stopping back by. As today, we talk about Major League Baseball 2020. And if you heard the news uh, coming out of Major League B Baseball over the last 48 hours, that is the league is on its way back and will be playing in late July. Now, the season is going to be a 60-game regular season plus playoffs and this has been agreed by Major League Baseball as well as the Major League Baseball Players Association. And we will be having a season, not the full 182-game season, but still a great baseball season upcoming. And this is going to be a lot of fun for sports bettors and baseball bettors because this is something unique and new as baseball is going to have a very short sprint of a season rather than the usual marathon that we're so used to. So guys, thanks for tuning in to Z Code System today. And we're glad to have you back here as we talk about baseball and Major League Baseball in particular, 2020, and how will Major League Baseball's 60 game season look? Guys, please give us a like if you enjoy this video and subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on all the videos and all of the betting news that we post as well as the picks and predictions that we often put up every week and the way that we show you to use the Z code system tools. Now, when the season, the first pitch happens this year, you will be able to go to Z code system.com backslash blog to check out our blogs and our picks on the major league baseball games. Right now, if you are a regular over there on the website, you will be able to see uh, picks and predictions for all of the major soccer leagues going on around the world. We regularly profile the Bundesliga from Germany, the Premier League from England, Spain's La Liga, and of course, during baseball season, we have baseball picks. Now, baseball is not the only sport that will be coming back in July. As we all know, the NBA will be uh, beginning play in Orlando, as well as the NHL getting ready to drop the puck on the end of their season. And of course, we've got the NFL coming up in August and September, and we'll have to wait and see what uh, that looks like well, as we get closer to it. But right now, let's talk about baseball and some of the things that are going to be happening with this 60-game shortened season. Now, if you uh, are keeping up on the news, Spring Training 2.0 will begin on July 1 with teams not going to Florida or Arizona for Spring Training this time around, but teams are going to be staying in their home cities and just taking care of their training at their home baseball parks. Uh, we've seen over the last couple of weeks a rise in the coronavirus, uh, uh, the coronavirus cases in the southern states of the U.S., such as Florida, uh, Georgia as well, uh, and uh, I believe Arizona. And this has caused teams to, rather than go down to spring training uh, to those facilities, because those have been shut now, uh, they're just going to stay in their home ballparks to prepare. Now, the first pitch of this shortened season is going to take place on July 23 and 24. Very exciting because as I look at my watch today is July 20, uh, sorry, it's June 24th. So we are roughly a month away from first pitch taking place. Now, that's like I said, that's exciting, but we're going to have to get used to some differences because as we all know, Major League Baseball is 182 games and it's a marathon. Uh, it's a war of attrition. This is a 60-game sprint where we're going to see teams really fighting and uh, you know positioning themselves to get into the postseason. We could see a return to things such as short ball, or we could see some different things taking place this season that we're not used to seeing in Major League Baseball. More strategy could be used as teams fight and move themselves into position to make the postseason. Now, I love this idea of a 60-game season because... You know, I'm quite jaded with the 182 game baseball season. And I know a lot of baseball hardcore fans out there and betters, especially because they love all those games, are going to say, well, you know, the 182 games, that's classic. That's that's tradition. That's baseball. But you know what? I do get tired personally watching all those games all through the year. 
and uh, you know waiting for um, you know some excitement. Sixty games is going to create a lot of excitement going forward this season. Now, of course, we're going to have to see how seriously each club and each player takes everything. I, sh- I assume once they get onto the the baseball diamond. Everything will be uh, kosher and back to normal. But, you know, we have those outside influences and the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic that could uh, alter the way things are once the season starts. So that got to definitely keep your eye on that going forward. Now, COVID-19 and baseball, it's going to be a very strange mix coming up. And as you can see here, there are some rules that Major League Baseball has announced that will take place. So players will undergo testing upon arrival at spring training and before they begin workouts. Now, they're going to have to uh, wait until those tests come back to really begin working out and playing. And as we've seen uh, in other sports, UFC, for example, uh, back in May when it returned, uh, one of the fighters showing up to the uh, UFC event uh, with COVID-19, you know, those things are going to have to be uh, monitored and seen. And and obviously those players and coaches will be kept separately. Now, players, coaches and support staff will be tested for the COVID-19 disease every other day during training camps and the regular season and postseason. So there's going to be a lot of testing going on. And as you know, Major League Baseball teams have a lot of players, coaches, and staff. So uh, add in the travel that some of these teams are going to have to go through. So this testing is going to be uh, regular, and uh, you know we're going to see it uh, be basically a part of normal life for the moment. Now, anybody who tests positive for COVID-19 will be quarantined uh, and just... Uh, separated from the baseball team and will return once that um, once that testing becomes negative. Now, the interesting thing about this is we're going to see the possibility of baseball and, and even big name players missing uh, possibly two weeks of action because of a positive test. Now, of course, we'll have to see how that goes once it happens, but this could be something very interesting and tweak the way that you wager on games and the way a team performs. Now, two negative tests are reportedly required, according to MajorLeagueBaseball.com, for a player to return once they have been quarantined. So this is going to be, like I said, it's going to be interesting to see how everything falls into place once this happens uh, because, you know, again, this is something that we've not seen before and players are not used to. Now, the schedule is quite interesting here because, again, we have 60-game regular season and to get into the playoffs, and each team will play 40 games against a division rival, So, which is quite exciting because, you know, again, one of the things about baseball that has turned me off over the last, I'm going to have to say two decades, is the fact we have so much interleague play. I'm not a big fan of interleague play. I love the tradition of baseball where teams just play inside their league, as well as I love how the uh, the DH is reserved for the AL and there's no DH in the NL. So I'm old school like that. So I do love how these teams are going to play 40 games against divisional rivals. So for example, uh, I'm a Mets fan, so I'm going to get to see the Mets play uh, 40 games against those teams in the uh, National League East. Now, these will be split up 10 games apiece. So the Mets will play the Braves 10 games, the Washington Nationals 10 games, et cetera, and so forth. So that's how that is going to unfold. Now, the other 20 games of the 60-game schedule is going to be made up of teams playing uh, playing teams in the opposite league, but in the same geographical region. So, for example, as I've written here, you're going to see the National League Central teams play each other for 40 games. And then they're going to play those other 20 games against the American League Central teams. So the Cubs will play out games with the White Sox, the Twins, um, and the like. So that is going to keep teams from having to travel um, around the country. Also, it keeps the Toronto Blue Jays from having to go back and forth between Canada and the U.S. And it's going to hopefully cut down on any uh, chances of players contracting COVID-19 or spreading it as well. And again, this isn't just the players. This is their support staff. This is the uh, the coaches, uh, other people within the organizations, and even families. Uh, a player's family could um, be the, the conduit for COVID-19 to pass between people. So this is one way that uh, the league is hoping to cut down or mitigate is the word they used 
uh, is to uh, prevent the spread of the disease. Now, there are going to be a few little rule changes, uh, and I've highlighted just one here, but you can go over to the zcodesystem.com backslash blog website, and you can read our preview or, or the blog that coincides with our video today, and you can find out um, some of the other rules that Major League Baseball has instituted. Now, this one, I find this to be um, odd, and uh, this rule will definitely change the way that you bet uh, on baseball. Now, during extra inning games in the regular season, each half inning will begin with a runner on second base. The batter who made the final out in the previous inning, or a pinch runner for that batter, will be that runner, which this is really bizarre. This is almost like something that you would see uh, in a little league type, uh, a little league game or, you know, um, high school baseball. So this is a way to, um, if you will, to quicken the games, to make them go faster, to uh, prevent teams from playing too many games or too many innings uh, in such a short time span, wearing out pitchers, wearing out players, et cetera, and so forth. So this is a very interesting rule, but you know what? This is like one of those rules that you see right now and you think is a bit stupid, but this is could be something that catches on and baseball institutes in the coming years. Now, like I said earlier, I love the idea of a 60-game season, and I think baseball would benefit massively in, tw uh, in 2020 and going forward to shorten the Major League Baseball seasons and cutting down on games. I know that's probably not going to happen because money talks, and having more games allows teams to make more money. But for the excitement, I think that shorter seasons would improve baseball and the interest that fans and casual fans have. And this tweak where the runner starts each half inning on second base um, to possibly um, uh, increase scoring and get games over with quicker, um, I think this is, uh, again, a silly, a bit of a silly rule, but something that could catch on and actually be a benefit to baseball. And in the end, we could see the COVID-19 pandemic and what it's done to baseball be a blessing in disguise. We could see uh, rule tweaks more often. We could see um, fewer games, which, you know, that could happen, but I don't think it will. And we could see some other things that happen. So that is what is happening right now with baseball. And of course, as I said, you can go over to the blog, zcodesystem.com backslash blog, and get some more info about what Major League Baseball is about to institute with this. And you can also, of course, go over to the website Use the VIP tools to make profitable bets on baseball when the season starts. Remember, spring training starts on July 1. That is next week. And then we will see games from the 23rd and 24th of July onwards. Go over to Zico System. Use those tools to help you make great bets. And of course, if baseball is not your sport or you're just a casual baseball better, we also have, we cover other sports. So whether it be soccer, football, NHL hockey, uh, or the NBA, you can go over to the website and get all of the information, tools, and picks that you need to help you make profitable bets. Guys, thank you for watching today, and please give us a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on everything we do here at Z-Code System, and when the baseball season starts, get some of those picks that we post for you to make great profits on betting. Thanks, guys. Stay safe, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.